Are you ready? Hey everybody, Jeff aka Gkers here. How are you all doing today? Let me see. Oh, there it goes. Good. It's working. It is currently 6.04 p.m. on the 20th of October 2024. It is actually a pretty stormy Sunday evening out here in the city of Kelso, Washington. How are you all doing? I hope your weekend is going as good as possible. As always, you know what to do. Click the like, click the subscribe, click the bell, and you'll be alerted when I release new content. <clears throat> Our boy DSP. He doesn't understand how the real world uh, how the real world works. To the to the common person who just heard this, they're probably going to reply to the screen. Yeah, no shit, Jeff. And, and I know, I know. I, I, just, I just wanted to kind of remind everybody in case they, you know, some of them forgot it's possible, you know. Or maybe that there is a new detractor that that is born. Because I have I deeply feel every time Phil Burnell releases or does a stream, three detractors are born. That's just the way I feel. That's the way I feel. But anyway. uh, Yeah, so our boy Phil, he doesn't understand how digital storefronts work and because of that tonight i am doing a reaction to the dsp can't navigate the steam store this is by our friend atlas the clip keeper also goes by atlas the bookkeeper but yeah our boy philberto he just does not understand how how the real world works he just doesn't and because of that I think, well, I don't want to say because of that. Dude, it's due to the fact that I think that our boy Phil is on the spectrum. Now, it's not as, it's not as severe as, like, say, your Chris Chan. Christian Reston, Christian Reston Chandler, however you want to pronounce his name. He is, like, a severe case of autism. It's to the point that he literally should not have been allowed to, you know, by himself out in public. Bill Burnell, he is on the spectrum, but he's not that damaged. He's not. Oh, Jeff, you shouldn't say that he's damaged. Why not? It's the truth. What I think led to his, uh, him being on the spectrum is I personally believe that Phil, that his parents, most likely just before he was born, they probably, uh, they probably... How can I say this? It's possible that they were uh, trying out some illicit substances. And because of that, it fucked up his genetics. And instead of actually doing what they needed to do when the problem start, when uh, the autism or his disability or whatever you want to refer to it as, Instead of doing what they should have done, which was have him diagnosed, they basically like, oh no no no, he's okay, he's just he's he's just a little slow. They did not take care of their son, and because of their inability to be actual parents, we are now having to basically suffer for it. Yeah. You know? Just like how Cat has to suffer with Phil and how John Rambo had to suffer with Phil, we are now having to suffer for the flaws of his parents. Oh, by the way, this is not Jen, by the way. But yeah, uh... But anyway, let, let's actually get to the video, shall we? Okay, hold on to me on the camera there you go and let me pull up the video there we go so i i I've, and the reason i say that i think he's on the spectrum is because i work with lots of students who are on the spectrum some are not as severe as others but they are all on the spectrum in one form of another or another and some of the stuff that I see in I see in my students, I see in Phil. 
And I'm not do I I'm not mad at Phil for for being you know possibly having autism. That was not his choice. I blame his parents though. I blame his parents for not doing what they should have done. The minute that it sh the the minute that the issue started to uh, present itself, they should have had him diagnosed and they should have had him on uh, behavioral regimens and all that. But because they didn't, he has he's basically gone forty two years with the mentality that he does no wrong. Of course, he may say it, but he doesn't acknowledge it. He says it more as a way to actually just get past the issue at hand instead of trying to rectify the problem. So let's continue on, shall we? Three, two, one. Atlas uh, in, the high, yes. in the hot seat tonight. And Atlas. Goes by the name of Atlas the Bookkeeper. How you feeling, my friend? So here it is. It's on DSP Gaming on YouTube. Right here on the community tab. Right here, just posted it. Thanks to everyone who nominated games for the open. Now, before I start, actually, I want to actually turn down the coloring. Now, let's go to a nice, subtle blue. There we go. Yeah, that, I like that. That's a little. Bit, that's a little bit nice. It's it, it. You know, it's a little bit getting a little bit dark. Let's have some nice, darkish colors. You know. Okay. Let's continue on. Coming Halloween Horror Marathon. We have narrowed down the selection to the following games and dead by daylight is the backup please vote for the games you want to see most okay now this i would actually i actually give him credit for he is actually you know i would i'm not trying to be nice but this is something even i do you know to a limited extent when it comes to like thumbnails for my videos however even though phil is trying to have this interactivity leave it to phil to fuck it up ladies and gentlemen just, let, we're just being honest only thing on there is the dino crisis original soundtrack well, those sound cool. why would they be selling only the dino crisis soundtrack and not the game <laughs> that is tremendously stupid now i don't know anything about how really computer games work maybe maybe the dino crisis games are no longer really compatible with today's computers maybe it's easier to operate with uh, music instead of video games i i don't know which is going to be dumb. It's going to be, like, way expensive. Like, it's going to be, like, 25, 30 bucks just to play this game. Uh, for the same hour and a half that I've played it a million times before. Now, whose fault is that, Phil? Whose fault is that? You, you, he acknowledges, hey, I've been doing this for the last few times. We only get, like, an hour and a half. Why, why just stop right then? Why just stop right then? Why not dedicate some some of your follow-up streams to finishing this game if you know that you're only going to uh get an hour and a half in why not just like for the next few streams after that just have a playthrough where you go where you where you finish it and that way next halloween you would you would not have this game again to play because you literally Completed it. You could you could do Dino Crisis two or three or whatever. You know, why not do something like that, Phil? Now I I know that 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 seems like a pretty decent logical solution, but we know our boy Phil. He does not deal with logical. He he deals in the with uh, he deals in the world of Phil Burnell basically, and in Phil Burnell's world, it's a lot easier to sit there and bitch, and moan. And complain and bellyache instead of actually just doing something logical like having uh doing a doing uh you know playing the game through to the very end you know but, but hey hey th this is phil phil Berto's stream you know so we're gonna do the same intro sequence and not get past it again <laughs> okay what about here's to fathom so we've got Home Alone. <clears throat> we've got Norwood Hitchhike. 
We've got Carson House. Iron Bark Lookout. And then Woodbury Getaway. Home Alone is free? This one is completely free. Why is it free? That's odd. Maybe it's like a demo or something. I, I don't know, but what what why is he why is he acting so uh he seems to be acting like a little bit outraged that that one thing is free. Maybe it's like a little like a little like a uh oh god, I can't recall a sample. Maybe it's like a sample for the full game, you know, or or a demo basically, but maybe it's their way to try to hook you to get you want to play more, you know? If 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 he only dedicates a say an hour and a half to these individual games, maybe that free demo, if it is a demo, maybe that maybe that would actually suit that situation. That way, he wouldn't spend a shit ton of money if he never plans on playing this game, and he could just have this little demo and he could play it for the hour and a half. It, it, that, that's just me, though. That's just me. I, like I said. Foresight is ne has never been Phil Burnell's specialty, ladies and gentlemen. So what I need you guys to do for me is tell me what do you think is the best one for us to play on Halloween. I'm down for any of them, but I need to know what one's good. I know Woodbury Getaway sucks because Kino Casino played it the other day, and they played it for an hour, and there was no horror. Like, no exaggeration. There was zero horror. And we were like, dude, this is the most suspenseful buildup in gaming history. Like, why would you wait this long to get horror out of a horror game, supposedly? So, I'm definitely not doing that one. Okay? Um. Okay, and the Retro Realms double feature should probably be on there, right? Wait a minute. They're separate games? I thought that they were... Huh? Well, I'm sorry. I'm not buying both. I thought they were... Dude, they're freaking $25 each? Why wouldn't they be $25? Why wouldn't they be 5 You know, it's up to the developers to sell it for however much they want. If the game doesn't sell at that price point, then that's the the you know the pr the producers, the developers, or however you want to uh, say it, it's their fault. But it's their right to set the price at however much they want. Phil, <laughs> they're twenty five dollars each. Well, I'm getting, if that's the case, I'm getting one. Yeah. DLC, what do you mean? Wait a minute. You have to buy this too? Well, if it's a DLC, yeah, you got to buy the base game, Phil. That's the way it works. You can't buy a DLC for, like, say, let's say the DLC is, like, $3 or whatever. And then expect them to just give you, like, the $60 base game for free. It doesn't work like that, Phil. You've been doing this for 16 years, man. You should know how this how the, this world works, dude. What? 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 They're charging me money. I can't believe that. What? Oh, my God. Huh? Dude, what is there that you're not fucking understanding, man? I'm it's... so confused. Is this it? If you buy it here, is that the game for 50? Or are they going to say you also need to buy this too? Oh this my is fucking very god. Bizarre. It literally says it in the fucking title, dude. Hold on, let, let's go back. Hold on. It literally says it. Hold on, let's go back. Buy a retro games double feature Halloween and Ash vs. Evil Dead. It's basically the first two things. Buy retro, you know, number one, which is $24.99, and buy retro realms Ash for How does he not understand this? Literally, this is this guy is on the spectrum, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not trying to sound mean when I say it, but 
people who are on the spectrum do not have a grasp on certain things in the world. A lot of one of the things that Phil does not grasp at all is sarcasm. And that is very evident when he talks to uh, Triple P. Triple P is has been just dissing the guy, being being sarcastic. He he has been really shooting at Phil, and Phil doesn't realize it because he cannot understand the concept of sarcasm and fake and uh, basically being an asshole. He doesn't have a grasp on emotions, basically. To say you also need to buy this too, because one is a DLC, bizarre. dude. The way that they laid this out is confusing as hell, dude. It's a freaking DLC. You gotta buy, buy the first the the base game for the DLC. How you how, literally did his mom buy all the DLCs for him when he was in Connecticut? Seriously, I'm I'm. This is a serious question, ladies and gentlemen. So I guess this, I guess oh, is this fifty, right? So probably this. I don't care about DLC characters for a game I'm going to play arguably for 90 minutes during a marathon, right? If he's only going to play the game for 90 minutes, why why even go this route, ladies and gentlemen? Why even go this route? Why not just go to, you know, Steam or good old games and just pull up a shit ton of demos for free? I'm pretty sure there are hundreds, if not thousands, of Halloween-themed demos that he can download why not just do something like that he literally just admitted that he's going to be spending oh you know 50 plus dollars and he's probably not even going to play the game for you know after that 90 minutes he's probably never going to play it again and i'll tell you why it's that instant gratification it's actually something that he was on a kick earlier this uh summer he was claiming that everybody else was wanting instant gratification. This is instant gratification. And the thing is, he doesn't realize that money is finite. He just he he views his uh his supporters as walking ATMs. He expects if he says, "Give me money," they're going to give it to him. He doesn't have it up here. He doesn't have the 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 facilities to understand. That money is not always going to be there. If I buy it here, is this it? Or do yes, I also Phil. Have to buy that another thing too, dude. This oh is oh my fucking god! Retro game. They're fucking charging that much money. This is dude. You get the base game and he had the. Okay, it. If he is not if he is not on the spectrum, then this is one hell of an awesome act that he Bravo, you have us all confused, Phil. You if you are not on the spectrum, congratulations, you got us all going. You got us all going because there's no way in hell that he he, he should understand how this fucking works. He should understand how this works. Should we get cat up in here? Can we get Cat up in here to, to to literally read this over to Phil? Okay, honey, you see, the Retro Halloween is the base game, and then the the Retro Realms Ash versus Evil Dead that is the DLC, honey. You gotta have the Retro Realms Halloween if you want to get the the Ash versus. I know, honey, it's okay. Pat him on the head, you know it. it He should have never left console gaming. Now, granted, I use console gaming. I love console gaming. But the storefronts of the console gaming seem to be more uh, developed, you know, with a simpler, uh, with a simpler, like a user interface. It literally says, deal or add-on, bait. You know, it has, you, you can tell the difference between add-on, well, anybody should. You can, Anybody can tell the difference between add-on and DLC. This seems to be too confusing for Phil. This is too confusing to Phil. Like, oh, I want to play the AVGN game. Oh, by the way, it's like $70. You'd be like, what the fuck? I'm not playing that. Are you insane?
Just get the standard Halloween one. Yeah, but even if I buy this, does this play? Or do I have to buy this too? Oh my god, I'm it's so confused. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on record and say I don't know anything about Steam. I don't. I, every game I have is on console. But literally, literally, here, let, 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 I'm gonna pause this for a moment. Hold on. Everything here. Now, you have retro now, retro uh realms Halloween. That that is the base game if I'm reading this correctly. Ash vs. Evil Dead, that seems to be like a DLC or if I'm understanding this correctly. The the Retro Realms double feature Halloween and Ash vs. That seems to be a combo of both games. It, tell me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I understand and I apologize. How is this fucking confusing to the guy? How the fuck is this confusing him? Hey, you see that? The downloads available are Retro Realms Halloween, Ash vs. Evil Dead, or the double feature, or the one that has two pieces of DLC. There's no download for just arcade. I'm I'm in it. Well, and there's no download for it. What is this arcade that he's talking about? I saw it said is it I don't understand what this whole arcade thing is, you know. Well, here's what we'll do. Obviously, I'll wait. I'm not gonna buy it yet. We'll see what happens with the pricing before Halloween. Maybe it'll go down in price for Halloween. Right. Look there. There you go. Here's here's the uh, here's the Halloween game. Would you rather play as Michael Myers or or Ash? Probably Michael Myers. I think I'd prefer to play as Michael Myers. Yeah, we'd probably play this one. Right. Why would they call it a double feature if you have to buy them separate? That doesn't even make sense. A double feature is... Oh, my fucking God. For the price of one, you get two. That's the whole idea of a double feature. My fucking like, God, Phil. Back Seriously. They did a double feature. Go back to, ga go back to console gaming, gaming please, for the love of God. Movies. This is... You have to buy them separate, so that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> That's not a double feature. Retro Realms, the people who made this game don't know what a double feature means. Wow. And this is coming from a guy... Who didn't understand uh, the fact that he was running up so much debt that he needed to get a fucking bank uh, bankruptcy? Degree in business needed to get a bankruptcy, needed to declare bankruptcy, I should say. Then says that other companies don't know what the fuck they're doing. Oh, I love the goddamn irony here, ladies and gentlemen. It's the same game with different characters. What? All right. Well, Dino Crisis, I guess we're going to have to get PlayStation Plus Premium and play it on there, which is going to be a huge ripoff. But I don't know what else I could possibly do. Dude, you're, you're a fucking video game content creator. This should not be seen as a ripoff to you. It's your fucking job. You claim that this is your job playing video games. How? I seriously say, think that this guy, uh, I seriously believe that he just wants to say that this is his job. That way he can try to act like that he's an adult. I, I got a job. I'm a big boy. I got my, I got my big boy pants on. God. Guy's, a, guy's an idiot. He's an idiot. <laughs> it seems like it's the only way I'm going to be able to play it. Inscription is there, right? What the hell happened? What the? God. Fuck? Oh my god! This, this. I'm literally having a stroke watching him. See, this is fair. Twelve bucks, right? No big deal. There you go. Wait a minute. You could buy inscription for twenty bucks, or you could buy the combo of inscription and the soundtrack for twelve. Gee, I wonder which I should get. <laughs> right? What's the problem here? I don't see a problem. Go. What's the fucking problem? Go for cheaper. Oh, that's what I did. Oh god, the Alex Murphy here. Um, let me pull it up. Hold on. Let me do this. Uh, god, let's see here. Um, I'm not sure if it's still on sale. Hold on, let me let's see here. I'm not sure if it's still on sale. Let me pull it up. 
if it'll work. Sometimes this website lags out. I don't understand why, but it does. If it'll even work. Come, come on, Jesus Christ. Okay, thank you. Okay, so, uh, oh, oh, maybe I can. Oh, they, oh man, they actually. Okay, the prices, uh, the, the saving, the sale must have ended. But they actually had the, the, here, let me zoom in. When I bought it, I got the uh, Alex Murphy edition. The uh, the base game itself was fifty nine ninety nine. I actually got the Alex Murphy uh, digital edition for I think it was like thirty nine or forty nine dollars. It was a little bit cheaper than the base game, which which I think was a fucking awesome deal. You get like you get the base game plus uh, DLC, and it's it's even a little bit cheaper. You know, I don't see what the problem was, but you know, I, apparently that is something that is. Confusing to our boy Phil, you know, like, uh, why, you know, which one should I get? You should know which one you, that you want to get, Phil. Hold on, is it not working? Oh, it's not working. Hold on, here it goes. I, I just, he, he seems to just want to throw a fit, to throw a fit, and that's that is that is a childlike mentality, which is tied into you know my belief that he has autism wonder which i should get you know which one you should get phil all right so i'll be getting inscription on here i'll be getting one of the retro realms oh what about fear why is he doing this he's glitching there it is what oh oh wait Includes five games. Yeah, and? I don't want five games. I just want Fear 1. Oh my fucking god. Are you god. shitting me? They're going to make me pay $55 to get Fear 1? I... Hold on, I got... I don't want... I only want Fear 1. And they're only selling it in a... Okay, so apparently it... it... He literally just said that he's only one that he's he has to pay fifty five dollars for Fear One. He's not just getting Fear One, ladies and gentlemen. He's not getting just Fear One. It's all right here, ladies and gentlemen. You get Fear, you get Fear Two, you get I can't I can't read. Oh, I'll just read the description. You get Fear, Fear Two, uh, Project Origin, Fear Two Reborn, DLC, Fear Three, which I I actually like Fear Three, Fear Extraction Point, and Fear Perseus Mandate. You're not just, he's not just, don't, do not let what he say, says, you know, fool you. He's not just paying $55 for one game. He's pay, paying $55 for one, two, three, four, five, six items. Now, granted, Fear is an older game, but he's getting all, he's getting basically the entire franchise. I'm not sure there's anything else in it, but he's getting like the entire franchise for $55. I'd say that's a little bit of a deal. I would say that's a little bit of a deal. And this goes back to the goddamn fact that I think he is on the spectrum. The students I work with, they are unable, they, they cannot, it, it is literally, a, they are unable to. They cannot see long term. They can only see right now in the moment. That is what Phil is doing right now. He can only see right now in the moment. And right now, he is upset that he would have to pay $55 for Fear 1. He's not getting Fear 1. And he doesn't understand how he can actually turn this into a moneymaker. He, he he cannot. What he could do is, he, yeah, he's going to want to play Fear 1 on that Halloween stream. I don't blame him. Fear is a scary game, man. I I I Fear is the first time I actually played a game... And I had to have the lights on. I'm not gonna lie. I, and this is coming from somebody who's played video games ever since the NES. Fear was the first time I had to turn on the lights at night. Yes, I'm a pussy. I admit it. I'm a pussy. <laughs> but what I'm, but back to what I'm trying to say. Phil doesn't understand how he could actually make this, make his money back four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times, if he does this correctly. And this goes back to not being able to see the long-term picture. 
he would have all these games. He could do like he could literally have a catalog of backup games to play when there's nothing there. And to top it off, I'm pretty sure all of these games that are here he played when he was using that stupid fucking camera setup. He could buy all these games and then play them in better quality on his capture card. But Phil, he doesn't think like that, ladies and gentlemen. He cannot think like that. He only looks at the right here, the right here, right now. And right now he is upset because he'd have to spend $55 for fear when he doesn't realize that there is a chance for him to make, make back what he spent plus a lot more. And that, that just, that upset, that, 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 and that's why he's so upset. I, I don't want to pay fifty five dollars. You're not just getting fear one, dude. You're getting you're getting the whole you're getting the whole the whole platter basically. It seems to be a good good you know. It seems to make sense to me if he's in the business of playing video games and making money. Why is this such a why does he is he so upset? And I'll tell you why because he cannot see the 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 long the down the long road basically. This Halloween event is going to cost me like $300 on games because these games are not available. You guys told... Hold on a second. No, no, no. You guys told me PC gaming was cheap. I'm pretty sure it's cheap if you're wanting like small indie games or whatever. Or, or like real small in the amount of time it takes to beat. I'm pretty sure those type of games are cheap. Is he literally... Is Phil literally thinking that... He, Buying a PC because we all know he bought that PC. Does he actually think that he could get triple A games for like a penny? Please, oh my god, I hope that's not what he believes. Instant gratification. Also, 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 am I the only one that finds it hilarious that Phil is getting upset at spending $55? For six games, six awesome games, he's getting upset at spending fifty-five dollars for all that, but spending two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand dollars on a goddamn mobile gotcha game. He doesn't get upset about that. Am I the only one that's laughing at the irony here? He says this is his business, but he doesn't know what the hell he is doing. You told me the cost of games is very cheap. You get all these PC games on the on the, nickels on the on the dollar. Oh my god. Uh, that's this is what are you, you told me. Are you kidding me, dude? Are you are you kidding that's me? That's why I said let's do PC gaming. And you said this Halloween event's gonna be great. You're gonna have more games available than ever to play, and they're all gonna be cheap. I'm not sure they said it's going to be cheap. I do remember people saying that he's going to have a whole crap ton of games that he could play. I don't think that they said it was going to be on the cheap. I think the whole cheap, uh, the cheap factor is in his head. But like I said, I find it hilarious that he is this upset about spending fifty-five dollars or even thirty, three hundred dollars when when spending a thousand dollars doesn't even bother him when it comes to that goddamn mobile game. Why do I have to spend $55 just to play the first game? Are they out of their minds? That's You're not insane. just getting the... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And who the hell wants to play Fear Extraction Point and Fear Perseus Mandate? What's wrong with them? They're good They're good DLC, dude. Or expansion, or whatever you want to call it. Like I said, this... This is his business, and he can't even fucking see down the road. He just sees right now. And I blame his I blame his parents. I blame his parents. His parents never taught him how this world works. If they taught him the way that they should have, he would have known not to get 13 freaking credit cards. Right? What the hell? Uh. 
What's with all this dead air? Come on, Phil. GOG. I mean, we could. Okay, no, let's go to GOG. On. Just because I haven't logged into GOG, I want to make sure it doesn't have like my login information publicly available. I haven't logged into it in like months. I think I bought uh, Fallout on it. Fallout 4. I don't understand how he cannot realize that buying... I don't understand how he cannot realize that buying a pack of games could actually help him in the long run. I, but then again, I, I basically already said why, but yeah. Whoa, look at all the, He needs to clean up his desktop. Holy shit, what do we got all up in here? I, I can't read anything, but holy shit, cleaning that desktop up, that is a fucking mess. <laughs> okay. Uh, GOG Galaxy. Here we are. How do you use this? You should search. So if I go. Ninety nine cents. OK. Yeah, but does this work? Jesus Christ. So this is probably an ancient version of fear. If you're if he's literally going to be playing only for 90 minutes, why the fuck does he care? Why the fuck does he care? He literally gets pissed at spending $55 for all the games, but then he he is getting upset at 99. He, I'll tell you why. I'll fucking tell you why. Because he wants the damn thing for free. The guy is a goddamn mooch. That's what he is. He's a mooch. He wants everything for free. In store. All it says is Windows. It doesn't say what Windows, right? It's Windows! Oh, my... Um, yes, I know it could be, like, Windows 10, Windows 11. But oh, my God. Seriously. Uh, what the fuck, Phil? What the fuck? It says it needs Windows 10. All right. Y your, computer, your, your new computer should have no problem with it, then. Congratulations! Buy the game! Be happy! Shut the fuck up about it! Wow, it's only it's ninety percent off. That's okay. not bad. What was the other one? Like Dino Crisis? Is that on here? Dino Crisis. Not available. What about Dino Crisis Two? Not available. What about Dino Crisis? Ah! Well, great. Here we go with this. Oh, yeah. okay. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, basically, what you did not see, let me turn off. Uh, let me move my, or let me just turn off my camera for a second. Basically, what it is, is that uh, people are sending him an invite, you know, friend request. Okay, there. Uh, do, I, do I believe that some of those, uh, you know, the request could be detractors and trolls. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. But I'm pretty sure that for some re for some odd reason, people, there are some people who actually feel that because Phil has been online for 16 plus years, that it, ma that it makes him some sort of like an insider to the industry. And that they, they actually value, why? I don't know. They value his... They value his input. Now he's he's going to show a little bit of hostility coming up about those uh, friend requests. Can you imagine how many people he turned? You know that just that did just that. Oh my God, Phil's on good old games. Maybe I maybe I can send him a friend request and you know I can pick his mind one of these days. And then he's going to shit on them and they're going to turn into detractors. And guess whose fault that's going to be. Is it Phil's fault? Oh, no. Phil does no wrong. It's the detractor's fault. It's the detractor's fault. It's all their fault. They made the videos and they, they turned people against me. No, Phil, it's your fault. It's your fault because you don't realize your actions have consequences. And this goes back to the fucking issue, with, like I mentioned with the autism. He does not have a grasp that his actions can have bad consequences. That off. Dino Crisis 3. Nope. 
about Dino Crisis 50th anniversary? No. How about Dino Crisis Killer Crisis Collection? Oh, this is Dino Break Killer Crisis Collection, and even that's not on there. All right. Well, nothing there. Uh, and I'm sure the other games aren't on there, right? So, all right. Well, excuse me for a second. <laughs> Dude, why, why are you so... Excuse me for one second while I close this fuck... I have never seen somebody... Who wants the fame, but then hate at the same same time of wanting that fame, just utterly hate interacting with the people who actually like you know who pay attention to him. I've never seen anybody like that. That's why I say he doesn't care about them as people. He only views them as a mobile ATM. Uh, he, in in the perfect his perfect world now he'll never say it because it would literally it would literally destroy him online in his perfect world if they gave him money and they never talked to him and he didn't have to say jack shit to anyone they would be you know he would be fine with that in fact right now he would be he would not care if they literally sent him hundreds of dollars and they just nothing, no talking, no nothing. That's his mentality. That is his mentality. Fucking stupid piece of shit. Because of Wait. course we all wanted that to happen. Anyone who uses GOG wants it to be an open friend request system where someone could endlessly spam you with friend requests while you're on there, right? Like why would Dude, it wasn't just one person that was endlessly spamming. It was at least two people. Dude, why, why are you so toxic? Your own viewers, man. Holy shit. I, I, I don't get it. I, I don't understand why he is like this. Well, actually, I know why he's like this. I also blame the parents. You want that. That's a useful feature, right? Okay, oh, God. so it seems like Dino Crisis, I have to get PlayStation Plus Premium. Inscription we can get on Steam. Retro Realms we can get on Steam, but it's going to be like 25 bucks to get one of them. Fear 1 I could probably get off of GOG for a dollar. And Fears to Fathom, we just have to pick the right one out of all the games. There's five available. I know the last one sucks, but maybe we could be doing a different one there, right? <clears throat> yeah. All right, uh, Luthace, thank you for a $2 Canadian Super Chat. He says, just play Dead by Daylight. Well, we can't. Again, Dead by Daylight will be the backup. So, Dead by Daylight will be... Actually, I, I, there's also another reason why he doesn't want to spend $300 on these games. And it's something I didn't want to say because, honestly, I think... I, I always kind of talk about the whole issue of the autism. It's also, he's addicted to that goddamn mobile game. If he spends $300 on all these other games, which could bring a lot of more, a lot more people in to watch the product. If he bought all those other games, then he can't spend $300 on Sweaty Hogan's. On deck, if any of these games don't work out for some reason. Inscription is on Game Pass. Oh, is it Ellipsis? Thank you for telling me that. So I should be able to get it on there then. Without spending any money. This is the only guy I've ever met that okay. has a job right, and he doesn't want to spend money to make Dino money. Crisis, Game Pass app for inscription. 25 bucks to play as Michael Myers in Retro Realms Double Feature. $1 to play Fear off of GOG. And Fears to Fathom, we just have to pick the right one. And Dead by... Oh, Dead by Daylight. Okay, and that was it, ladies and gentlemen. That was it. Uh, here, hold on one second. Okay, so that was. Uh, hold on, come on. There you go. That was uh, my reaction to DSP basically not understanding how uh, how computer game online stores or whatever you want to call it, uh, you know, online clients work or whatever you want to call it. I've never seen somebody who doesn't understand that you have to spend money 
to make money. In Phil's mind, in Phil's mind, he should be able to spend no money and just make all the money. He, it doesn't work like that, Phil. I don't even have a I don't even have a business. And I can understand that if I wanted to make money, I'm gonna have to spend money. I, it's okay, Phil. You're a good boy. Oh, you're a good boy. Yes, you are. Here, let mommy comb your hair till you're 17. You know what to do, ladies and gentlemen. I, I don't need to tell you. Oh, my God. I cannot. He inst if, if he literally is planning on playing just for like 90 minutes per game, why not just download a whole bunch of free Halloween game demos? It would save him so much more money, and that way he could actually play what he actually loves, which is that fucking WWE Champions game. Okay, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you like this video. I will see you next time. Peace.